I'm going to explain to you in this video how you can judge whether or not it's safe to overtake parked cars while oncoming cars are approaching. Because I know and understand that it can be difficult for a learner driver to make this spatial judgment. This rule is simple and effective and it's going to make your life so much easier. Just very briefly before we get into it, I want to say a big, big thank you to anybody out there who has donated by PayPal. I really, really appreciate it because it allows me to live the dream of being a full-time YouTuber and that means a lot. So thank you very much. Okay, so let's get on with the video now. So the key question you have to ask yourself, is there enough room for three car widths here in the available space for overtaking? Because if there is, that would mean that it's safe and easy to overtake with oncoming cars. Now in this situation, I could barely fit a car plus a half maybe in the available space. So the answer here is it's not safe to proceed if there's oncoming cars. If there is on any oncoming vehicles of any type, I have to stop and yield to the oncoming vehicles here. Now in this situation, we're going to look at the other extreme. If we take the space available to myself and the oncoming cars on this stretch of road, then you can see that we have at least three car widths to play with. Look at the space between the white line here on the left and the curb on the right. There's plenty of room there to fit the width of three cars. That means it's safe to proceed and there's plenty of space for two-way traffic to drive safely. Now, what about here as I'm driving up the hill? If we analyze the space here um, between both vans, you'll see that there's just over two car or van widths here. So that's not enough space for myself and an oncoming car to progress safely. That means one of us has to yield because there's parked cars or parked vehicles on both sides. So one of us has to yield and I'd probably yield here since I'm on the uphill. Having a space of two car widths here between the vans is not enough to make it comfortable for both myself and any oncoming car to proceed safely. That's why one of us will have to yield. In this situation, it's a little trickier to make a decisive decision, but we must always ask ourselves the question, can we fit three car widths between the green car here on the left and the curb on the right? Now there's already one um, car there, so that means, that's the black car. So that means that we just have to ask ourselves, are we able to fit two more in the space between the black car and the green car on the left? And the answer would appear to be yes. I'm not saying it's comfortable or perfect, but it is safe and practical for me to keep going here in order to maintain progress. And if you stay out in a slightly right of center position in your lane and avoid weaving in and out, then you're going to be in a better position to apply this rule more effectively and more practically. As the video goes on, we'll see a similar situation with the black car uh, driving towards me here with his lights on. I could potentially squeeze two more cars in this available space, which makes it safe for me to proceed with enough room for my car, plus a door length of safe space either side. That means we can fit three cars in here if we include the black car with his lights on as one car plus the space that's available for two other cars to fit there. And as I said, that means it's safe and practical then for me to proceed on this road. Now, the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers, but I would not be driving 50 kilometers on this road. I'd probably be driving around a 30 kilometer zone here. And this is to make up for the fact that it's not very wide and it's not exactly comfortable space even though i can go um certain roads like this road here for example you wouldn't exactly be striving to reach the speed limit here you'd be driving maybe 15 or 20 kilometers below the speed limit just to make it safer and just to make it more comfortable for you and for other road users if you found this video useful and informative then don't be afraid to hit that like button and don't forget to make sure you're subscribed for more great videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. As you will see, this rule will be very... This rule...
I'm going to explain to you in this video how you can judge whether or not it's safe to overtake parked cars while <coughs> cars. I'm going to while oncoming cars are also approaching. Because I know cars are approaching uh, because I know and understand just very briefly before we get into it I want to say a big big thank you to anybody out there who has donated um, by pip <sighs> who has donated by PayPal. Who has donated, who has shown support, who has donated by PayPal. I really, really appreciate it. 